Uh, this is video, so just talk for again. I want this because my video ran out over there a little bit. So um, this is this is perfect stuff. You're here now at training center. This is where we meet. So I'm going to take this on the yard over there, and this is proof of Jesus' love and mercy. Yes, Jesus and is grace. Good. Yeah, and Adolfo is doing great, and he is working full time, union job. And uh, we put God first, read the number one book, the Bible, and pray. And uh, it's Jamie. Yes. Amy with a J. Yes. <laughs> Jamie. And, uh, he's doing good in, out here in society. Um, he had to learn a lot of basic things, right? Yes. yes <laughs> and bills keep coming, but thank God we can pay them. Yep. And uh, thank God, God for good. bills. Yes. That is good. He continues to bless us. Where would ducks be without bills? Exactly. I mean, it shows responsibility of becoming a man. I mean, you have to be responsible out here. And that's one thing I've learned. I knew what I had to do. And the parole plans were, were on hit. I, I did exactly what I said on my short-term goals. And so all those all those classes you went to and everything prepared you yes. to a degree to get out here. It, it prepared me as far as my character goals, yeah. my defects of character. I had to better myself. I had to address my issues, like yeah. addictions, and gang, gang achievements, and stuff. So I had to address all those issues uh, before I was found suitable for parole. And lo and behold, I've been out since January 11th. Uh, After 34, how many years? 34 and a half years. 34 and a half. Uh, and uh, I thought it was done until I gave my life to God in 1997, August 15th. And I got on my knees and prayed, and never prayed before, like really prayed. And uh, God's got my back ever since then. He goes, you know what, you're coming with me now. I said, okay, God. So I look what I, look what he's done in my life. I've not only got out on my initial hearing, I uh, married a beautiful woman, a godly woman. Uh, we have uh, three cars now. I just got a truck, F-150. I'm so proud of that. Beautiful wife, too. And I have a job, a local union job. Yeah. So it's possible. Anything is possible with God. Amen. And I've said this so many times with all the interviews you did with me, Larry Johnson. And, and you know, it's, you could see I claimed it right there on that yard in Calipatria. I claimed that I was going to come to the training center and I was right. going to succeed out here. Be productive. Yeah, exactly. And to to all natural senses, that would be impossible. Right, right. At the right. time, that was an impossibility. But what's that verse that say about impossibilities? Possibilities, like if you with have, God, all things are, are possible. With God. Are possible with yeah. God. So what you guys, what you did, see, you received His pardon first, so He could position you to get a parole. Right. And I couldn't marry just any old woman. I, I wanted to marry a godly woman. So you laid out your married, vision on that, yes. Yeah, we got married as one with God. So we have to stay faithful to God. Cause yeah. Believe me, Satan's laying in the cut just to try to destroy this marriage. He hates it. You yeah. Know? So through the blood of Jesus Christ, we're always saying we rebuke you, Satan. You're not going to come in our lives and destroy our lives. Amen. God's more powerful than you. Come on. Get away from us, you know. So Amen. we've been doing so good, Larry. I've come here in San Diego, all the way from Apple Valley, which is two and a half hours. I don't mind, but to come back and actually see my brothers out here. And where are you going today? It's not Disneyland, but it's Sea World, right? Sea World. Oh yeah, yeah man. The very first time, you know, Sea World. Shamu is gonna leave at the end of the end of the year, right here. So we're gonna go visit him. Yeah, go see Shamu. Yeah, we're gonna see Shamu. <laughs> You know, but, uh, other than that, he's going to be, Shamu's going to be released from an incarceration too. Hopefully they'll oh, let yeah, him. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. He's and been, in, he's been incarcerated. In fact, when I got out, and I ain't been there since I was 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and so Disneyland was wonderful too. I mean, and we had a good time. We just experienced life now with family. I mean, out here is what's happening. And there's for the birds. You guys know that. Yeah. Well, that's, um, that's, I'm just so grateful. Yeah. But in there is preparation to get out here. So if you, right. you have to that's the purpose yourself. of it. Larry, you have to fix your, you have to address those issues recognize. and recognize why you became that person. What made you into this monster? And so when you address those issues, the commission is going to know if you change as a person, as a man, a responsible man. And they saw the change in me. And I was found suitable for parole on my initial hearing. That's a rarity. You do not hear that. You know, so level four prison with uh, 305 points. Are you kidding me? So they knew I changed as a man. That was a total miracle. 
Hand of God move. Oh, yeah. God have my back. And he's got one. The Lord has that for everybody. He doesn't have it. There's no special kids in his kingdom. There's no special kids. It's just whoever takes him up on the deal. Everybody that you said to that one brother over there, you said 100%. And if you don't know how to give 100%, ask God to show you how to do that. See, because he'll help you do 100%. Don't even try to do it on your own. He'll give you power to do the 100%. And I know there's a lot of good guys in that yard, you know, in Calipatch, where I was at for 17 years. And I know these guys believe in their hearts, too, by hearing testimonies like us right here, what's going on. We're living it for the day. We're living examples. They know that it's possible. But all they have to do is they got to do the work and they got to believe in God. Just give it to God. Amen. And He's going to take care of everything for you. Amen. Look what He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. You know, it's, man, it's just overwhelming. Overwhelming. Big. That's one of our favorite words. <laughs> overwhelming. Amen. And I like when you say keep it 100 because when he got out, he showed me, you, you, you gave me uh, your transcripts to read. He gave me his transcripts to read and it wasn't a little book, it was a big book and he wanted me to know the bad, the good and the bad and the ugly and he yeah. is keeping it 100. So, Amen. Yes. 